Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be doing these really pretty rose gold set today. So if you're interested, then just stay tuned. So inspiration today was taken from this gorgeous set that Talia did. She is a fellow YouTuber and nail artist and I absolutely fell in love with this colour palette. So I will leave the video to that down in the description box below so then I started having a play with the colors and different textures that I wanted to take inspiration from that photo and this is the set that I came up with so I'll get straight onto it and give you a rundown of all the products that I used the main color is this buttercream from light elegance and it's called your churn and it's like a pinky mauve color and then the metallic that I'm using is a Madame Glam metallic hybrid and that's in the color rose gold and the finish on these once they're dry is like a pure metallic chrome look it's so pretty brush I'm using for applying the buttercream is the gel polish bling brush from light elegance and then for the sparkly sort of nail I'm using 015 from ugly duckling so all nails will have the buttercream on apart from one so I'm just going to apply one thin coat of this and cure because it is so pigmented I only actually needed one coat and the ring finger is going to have the sparkly gel on from Ugly Duckling So I'm going to use the Madame Glam Metallics as a rose gold paint splash almost on a few of the nails. So I'm just applying a no wipe top coat to a couple of the nails as they do like a nice smooth surface to be applied onto. So once that top coat has cured I'm just decanting a little bit of the rose gold onto my palette. And I'm just using an ombre brush today and that's because I want this to look almost like a paint splash across the nail so I want to get the brush strokes in and as I apply this you'll see that it does look it looks metallic but it doesn't look chrome like yet so you do need to let this actually air dry for around three to five minutes and then you can cure in the lamp for 30 seconds and then you're good to gel top coat that as well And make sure you clean out your brush straight away after using because the metallics do have a nail polish property within them. So Talia also used these metallic decals from the pink chair. So I was straight on the website and ordered these obviously. And I did stock up just to make it worthwhile on shipping. And I believe that these are actually on offer for $2.99 Canadian at the moment. So go and check it out if you wanted to get your hands on these and I'll leave the links in the description box below. And they are basically like a metallic sticker but they're really super thin as well and super sticky so brilliant for applying over like gel polish or hard gel or acrylic anything like that. So I did remove the inhibition layer before sticking this on and it just stuck really well so make sure you've got that in position. And then I just nipped off the end with some cuticle nippers, just slightly short of the end, so I can really encase this when I come to top coat. 
So the metallic nails have been drying for around five minutes and hopefully you can see how chrome like they've come out now. So they're just ready for curing for 30 seconds and top coating. So for embellishments, I did choose some rose gold Swarovski crystals and a pearl and I think I used like a long teardrop clear Swarovski as well. So I'm using my usual suspects, I'm using the gel bottle rubber top coat and my micro brush to apply it with. So once I was happy with my crystal placement, I just cured the gel in my lamp. So those are nice and stuck. And then just to finish them off, I did use a brush and some no wipe top coat just to go in and around the stones and then top coat the remaining nails. So these are the finished nails and I know that pretty much every nail is different but I really think they all complement each other because of the colour palette. So thank you to Talia for your amazing set that you did that I took inspiration from and I'll leave you with a few pictures guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!